Did you know that God wants your joy to be full? Isn't that awesome? He wants your joy to be full. I'm sitting here and it's already starting to sprinkle and I'm just enjoying the rain. He wants your joy to be full. And we just did that in the last Spirit Snacks segment. We talked about how God wants your joy to be full. And Jesus said, how do, how do you get your joy full? He says that you ask the Father in my name. Well, in this segment, there's another place. And actually, it's in John chapter 15, where he says that your joy may be full. And what he says, he talks about what you do is he says these things in John 15, 11, I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. And what he was saying is these things he was speaking was his commandment, which is to love. And when you love one another, he says, do that, that your joy may be full. So when you choose to love another, your joy actually becomes full. And so I want to encourage you to love one another. Well, what about, the, the, it's easy to love people. What about those that treat us wrong? And even during this time of Passover week, I remember even what Jesus did during this time of Easter where he loved those who put a nail in his hand. He loved those who betrayed him. He still loved them. And if he loved us, I'm, I'm the one that put him on the cross with my mistakes. If he loved me through all of that, the least I can do is forgive everything I've done. I can forgive those who have wronged me and choose to love them and to love one another and let my joy be full in every season, in every weather, have a joyful attitude. And I want to encourage you, choose joy, a heart of joy, that your joy is full by choosing to love one another even as He has loved us.